I hired a Chinese fortune teller online today and see how it works. To be honest, I had heard about fortune telling in China for many years since a very young age, where people believe that their fate, their luck, are pretty determined by the first date, first time, and first places. And we can also tell our fortune by the face looking and pop looking. People can even avoid some trouble by knowing the future by fortune telling. This idea has been in China for thousands of years. And interestingly, we can even find some services online on the Chinese Amazon and eBay, which is called Taobao. Well, to be honest, I feel both skeptical and curious about this fortune telling. So I search on the internet and find one shop that has a high rating and good comments. I will be doing the fortune telling to tell you how the fortune telling works. And secondly, I will also share my opinions about the fortune telling. To be honest, I'm doing this video just for fun and to satisfy our curiosity. On the other way, I don't really encourage the fortune telling online and I will share my opinions later. Here we go. So here is the shop I choose from the internet. So these two characters which called called Yuanfen, which is like the fate and the destiny. So it says, this is the fate to let you to know me. And I can also see there are seven comments. To be honest, this type of services, this fortune telling online is kinda restricted online. Those are all positive comments. Like the first person said, uh, this is the second time I uh, got instructed by the master, the, the fortune telling master. The master give a pretty detailed and a pretty accurate uh, predict to his or her situation. So he show he's grateful to these services. So the second person also say, yes, I also think it's very accurate. And they also say the master is a, the fortune telling master is also a very nice person. So they say, uh, I will use this service again. And also they say the master have good attitude. But most of the people say uh, the master do the thing very accurately and they talk about many detailed things. And also someone says they get encouraged by this fortune telling. So this is the shop I choose. Next step is to contact with the shop owner. The thing I ask is, hello, I saw this fortune telling item in your shop. So I was asking if this is still available. And the shop owner also replied very quickly, like in one minute. So he asked, which aspect do you want to see the fortune? There are a couple of aspects such as uh, to see your marriage, your career, your money, health, children, and study, and your language ability, and even your last life. Huh? <laughs> Actually, to be honest, when they say the last life, I kind of feel skeptical about if uh, this is legit. <laughs> yeah. They also do the fortune telling on WeChat. So they give the fortune teller master's WeChat. Here, it's right here. So this is my question. This is also a thing to tell if they are legit. So first of all, I will give them my uh, birth date and also maybe the picture of my face or my pop because they can also do the face reading and pop reading. I will first ask about what happened before so I can compare and to see if they are legit. After this verification, we can do the second step to tell the future. But yeah, they refuse this. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> at the first time, I think that might um, be that they are not so legit. But at the same time, I kind of understand that the fortune telling is tell about fortune, is tell about luck. So even if the luck cannot be changed by ourselves, but we can make us a better life to change what happened. Let's also see what will happen later. I will do the fortune telling for my career and my marriage. So he also asked me a question about the marriage. So are you looking for someone? Or if you have a certain person then to see if you are a good fit. So I, I just reply, I'm <laughs> looking for someone. And he also gave me this WeChat, which is the fortune telling master's WeChat. He said, uh, you're choosing two areas, so it's 50 RMB. That's like seven US dollars. To be honest, this is much, much more affordable than I expected. Uh, to be honest, I feel both skeptical about fortune telling and also, yeah, the shops online. Uh, let's just try to see how it works. Uh, I also asked some questions about this fortune telling master. So they say he has 20 years of huh? fortune telling experiences. I add this fortune telling master's WeChat. So he asked me for two things. The first is the birth date and the second thing is uh, a photo of myself. I also asked him you, if you use a lunar or solar calendar. 
uh, either will be good. Yeah, I think it's reasonable because he can just convert it. So I give him the my birth date and also a photo, yeah, <laughs> a selfie. Yeah, this is the one I just get all my hair aside and uh, no makeup. So he just say, great. So when I did the fortune telling, I will send you the results, which is about one hour. So let's wait. One hour later. I asked for fortune telling for two parts. One is a career and one is the marriage. So he sent me the marriage first. So he first read my face. This is a face reading. So first of all, he told me quite a lot of good words. <laughs> He said you have good features and good looks on your face. That doesn't mean you are beautiful, but it's like you have a lucky look. So he he says I have a pretty upright and square face. Mm, probably. Oh, from this photo, I think probably, but not so much. Is probably because of the direction, to be honest. But generally, like a square face and a white face is a good thing in the face reading. But it's not so good in the beauty standard. <laughs> he said, I have this uh, shi shen, that's like an eating gut. So shi shen is about eating, it's about your health and longevity. So this is how uh, the Chinese fortune telling says, that ming zhong dai shi shen zhe, if you have the shi shen in your fate, that it will be cai hou yi feng. I will just translate it right here. And fu liang kuan hong, ji ti fei da, <laughs> and you shou kao. Mm, yeah, yeah, that sounds good word. But if you have too much shi shen, this thing in your birth state, you will be le yu xiang le, that's so good at having fun, you are, are just not so serious. And also they say you are stubborn, you might be childish, but also <laughs> horny. <laughs> I, I don't know. He also talk about this uh, he gu right here, and also nose. So in the Chinese face reading, they like the straight and fat nose. And that's called a wang fu xiang. That's uh, you have a face that is good for your husband. That means uh, you bring luck to your husband and he will make a lot of money. <laughs> but he also said, but in the status of your relationship, he's talking about the marriage intelligence that is kind of low. That means you can you, you are probably meeting a lot of wrong people. For this thing, I'm not a very lucky person in relationship of marriage, but I it's not like meeting the wrong people, but it's like I'm not meeting any people to go into a relationship. <laughs> he, he also kinda remind me or to say warn me, you will meet the wrong people, which called the Lan Tao Hua. So he said you might be hurt in your relationship. So that for this type of relationship, you, you need to think about that and to avoid it. Uh, I think it's also a good reminder if this is right. Uh, you need to keep in mind about this or you might lose confident uh, for the relationship. So generally in fortune telling, they will tell you your future in the next two or three years. He also says your fate tells in 2023, you will be married with the right guy. Uh, this person will be pretty tall and strong and his face and his skin is pretty pale. Wow, interesting. I think he's telling a lot of good words. So he said, uh, your better half will also be pretty energetic and pretty capable. Wow. And also he has a good face. That also means a good face in fortune telling rather than a beautiful face. Uh, he's, he has a pretty honest look <laughs> and at about 175 centimeters tall. Huh? This is pretty funny. He also tell me that uh, I will meet this guy next year in the lunar calendar August 2022. He also tell me the guy, the right guy, is also a good tempered guy. He's very mild and also he's calm and wise. Well, that's a all good word. But also he's kind of stubborn and he wants to control many things. <laughs> yeah, okay. And someone introduced him to me. He also have his own business. But he says, uh, oh, you all, your marriage is not very strong. He also tried to sell something to me, but I think it's fine, just one word. So he said, if you are uh, worried about it, you can buy this rope, like a bracelet. This is uh, all about marriage. Personally, to be honest, I think this is a good comfort to me. He tell a lot of good word. So this is about marriage. This fortune telling master also talk about my career. So first of all, he do the face reading. Mm, he said my mouth is kind of thick, but also kind of reserved. 
So in the Chinese fortune telling, the thick mouth is also a good thing. Uh, I'm pretty ambitious on my career, and I can do things from many different places. And he says, uh, that means you can make a life in different places and in different areas. I don't really settle in a status quo. Personally, I think that's pretty accurate to me. He also says I have clear shape of my lip. You will also need to refer to this picture. So he says, uh, career-wise, you can be a successful woman. Yeah, that's like a really nice word. He also says I have a pretty wide face and a high forehead. He said I had a pretty ideal face for a work working woman, pretty suitable for zuoshengmi. That's like uh, doing a business. Uh, for example, internet marketing or you just selling things offline. He also gave me some directions such as education, beauty, and also health. And also something related to female products. Actually, for this part, very interestingly, I really like to hear this. When I'm asking him, I'm only asking for a career. That could be starting a business, also like changing my career or a promotion. To be honest, I'm also thinking about starting a business and I also think my personality is pretty suitable for starting a business than working in a company. This fortune telling master just uh, tell me about the same information. I don't know if it's just pure luck or he can just see something from my face and my birth date. He also says my chin is kind of wide and also kind of bulge. <laughs> yeah, and that means I'm pretty ambus ambitious. To be honest, this, this is kind of accurate, but I don't know if it's out of luck or if there is something related. And uh, he said I, I don't want to give up. He also says I can have good uh, interpersonal relationship in my career, so it's very easy for me to success. Uh, I don't know that's like a psychological trick. He just gave me a lot of good word. Like I have a pretty sharp eyebrow, so um, that's a look for a boss. But he, he also says in the recent two years, you don't have a lot of luck and you also have the risk of failure and meeting the unethical people. Yeah, that is what he says. He also says, if you are a pretty sensitive person, it's also pretty nice for you to work in the service industry. So here he tell me that you are not good at saving, so you can earn, but you can also spend a lot of money. He also gave me a reminder that you should pay more attention to your financial management. Mm, kind of accurate. Um, I don't really buy bags and clothes, but I, I still spend a lot of money in different places. Uh, and again, there is a word. He tried to sell me another thing. This is uh, this word is called fa shi. That's like a service to help your fate. So he said he can do this service to help me to accumulate the money so it will not leak out. He also say a lot of good words, like I'm pretty strong in my career uh, due to the fate. But in the recent two years, it might not be so easy, but which will get better in the second half of the year 2022. He also reminded me to take care of the unethical issues and unethical uh, people around. So that's all for my career. I think he says a lot of good words. He also uh, says the good words that was I had already been thinking about. For example, he talked about I can be a good entrepreneur. That's exactly what I'm looking for instead of uh, a promotion or switching to a career I like more. Although I don't know if it's accurate or not, but it's certainly something make me very happy. And I will also share my opinion about this fortune telling. So generally, when I see his fortune telling results, whether it is a marriage or a career, I think it's um, it's just give me a lot of psychological comfort. It make me feel pretty happy and pretty comfortable about it. Although I don't know if it's legit or not. Since this fortune telling thing took place for thousands of years, I cannot say it's all fake. But when you uh, try to find some services on the internet, it's very hard to find out if this person is legit. Uh, so my personal opinion is you can do fortune telling for fun, but I don't recommend you to uh, trust the fortune telling so much. <laughs> and the second thing is, to be honest, I don't know if our luck is determined by the birth date or by our face, by our palm. But you know, luck is just luck. What's really happened is still determined by if we do good thing and if we do hard work. 
And the third thing I think is, I do think fortune telling can give us a lot of psychological comfort. For example, for most of us who want to do a fortune telling, we must face with some difficulties and face some uncertainties and face some issues. We want to encourage ourselves, but at the same time, we want this encouragement to be said by another people, by the authority person. Right, but all in all, I don't really trust the fortune telling results. But I also think it makes some sense to make our life, make us feel more comfortable and feel more confident. For example, for my fortune telling work, actually this master tell me a lot of positive words. So if I'm a person I face with difficulties and uncertainties, this can actually give me a lot of psychological comfort and confidence. That's my opinion about fortune telling. Feel free to also comment down below what other topics you want to hear about. Feel free to also subscribe and I will see you again soon.